The JVX program was launched to create a new type of joint vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that could be used across different military services. Each branch of the armed forces contributes four and a half million dollars. The Army wanted a new uh, electronic warfare aircraft. Uh, the Navy was looking for a new uh, fleet support aircraft. And the Air Force wanted a new aircraft for their special missions capability. The Marines want the JVX even more than the others. They've been fighting for a long-range chopper for over 20 years. One of the key developments during the 1960s was the uh, increased use of what are known as anti-shipping missiles. These are uh, land-based missiles that are designed to attack ships some distance offshore. This really complicated uh, the Marine Corps doctrine of amphibious assault. The new missiles forced the Marines to anchor farther out to sea, too far for their CH-46 choppers to be effective. The Marines pride themselves on being America's first responders, but without a better aircraft to get them to the battlefield, they have no way to meet their mission. The Marines were highly dependent upon the success of the JVX program. Congress issues a request for proposals. Only one comes in a collaboration between Bell Helicopter and Boeing Aircraft. Bell Helicopters was very experienced in building smaller helicopters, but they were not particularly experienced in building large transport helicopters. Boeing was very experienced in this field, and so Bell partnered with Boeing. May 23rd, 1988, Arlington, Texas. When the V-22 Osprey rolls out, top government officials and a crowd of 1,600 people witness the historic moment. Few in the world have ever seen such a strange-looking aircraft. 